Superintendent Denise Juno. Today, Governor Inslee made an emergency proclamation extending closures of all schools through the end of the school year. As a result, Seattle Public Schools will not reopen its buildings for the 2019-20 school year as we had hoped. While our buildings remain closed, we will continue to provide essential supports for students and families. Over the past weeks, our nutrition services team has served around 3,000 meals per day to students and families. In addition to supporting students' basic needs, we are working with several community-based organizations to provide childcare. And we are also ensuring our students receive continuous learning remotely. Each week, we have distributed around 7,000 learning packets and set up 60 new lessons by our educators over SPS TV. Teachers and staff are working tirelessly to provide continuous learning for all students during the closure. And we will continue to hone our process as we adapt to this new and different way of doing things. I understand the anxiety and frustration this may cause. And I recognize that this transition has not been easy. Please know that each and every one of our decisions is made with the well-being of our 53,000 students in mind. While we are all having to quickly adjust to a new way of life, I will not stop advocating for our students, families, and staff. This is how we do school now, remotely, with families as co-educators. We will all have to work at this together with patience and understanding. One thing I know about Seattle Public Schools is that our staff and educators will work hard to make sure this works for all of you. We will share more information in the coming days about what this means for staff and students, including graduation for seniors. Thank you for your patience and grace as we transition again and begin to address what this means for our school community now and as we look to next fall. Music